Welcome dear ones, my name is Camilla and I'm always so excited to connect with you all again. Thank you for being here. And uh, we are still in the energies of the portals that opened up around the 12th, 12th of December 2021. And it continues up until uh, around the 21st of December 2021. And the 21st of December is when the winter solstice occurs. So what does it mean, those portals, as we many times call portals? It, to make it simple, it means that during these periods of times, there is uh, the the there is great influxes of light and energy beaming onto Mother Earth, our planet at this time. And that means that it will help us to ascend uh, simply. So with this, you can look at it as a, a child getting very much uh, nutrition and sunlight and fresh water it helps them to grow and it's the same for us so these uh, energies are affecting our all our bodies and minds and what happens when we are <clears throat> surrounded by these energies and these potent light codes that is here to transform us is that uh, we will it will help us clear what we are ready to release uh, all illusions and all wounds that we are holding on to and so you may feel uh, a purging uh, in your mental body as uh, negative thoughts arising, emotions, uh, old stories coming up to be looked at and to be healed and released and uh, many of us do feel physical symptoms as headache, as nausea, as um, <clears throat> ringing in the ears, uh, tension in the muscles, pain in the in your uh, joints and and body, and uh, uh, and you may also uh, get sick. Fever also. I I I hear that many people from the last uh, the twelfth portal activation we did where we. Uh, embrace the dragon energy and the fire energy uh, ended up with fever so it is very cleansing these energies are very cleansing cleansing as well and for you to navigate through this with ease and grace uh, it's the best way to do this is to accept what is arising to embrace it and you, to know that it's arising because it's ready to be released and so so try to not resist try to embrace try to keep the higher perspective of what is happening and that it's for the highest good for you uh, so if we are not aware of these um, portals and energies it will it might just confuse us and we might feel overwhelmed. So when we try to surf the energies and try and we learn how to surf them, to navigate them, they are great. I look at them as actually initiations. Uh, they help us to move forward and to um, enter into another level, to, so to speak, if we are going to choose, I need to explain it somehow. So in uh, to, to release more that is not true and to embrace more of what is our true self. So another level of awareness and um, <clears throat> becoming more of who you are, who you are, what you are here to be and how you are here to serve. Uh, so that's why they are such a great potentials and that's why I look at them as wonderful tools and uh, 
uh, initiations to what is waiting on the other side for us us to be ready to embrace and so as in the 12th portal i talked about the energies i get from this portal is um, fire and power so today we will continue with an activation to um, um, cleanse uh, what has uh, been rising from the 12th portal during this uh, time and to embrace more of our um, divine power <clears throat> so we will do an L uh, diamond light activation today so dear ones just uh, come into stillness and into silence and stillness and silence is a very important at these times to be ready to really listen inwards to connect with your true self and to also because the veils are becoming thinner so we are more in tune with source with our higher self with our guides and listen to that guidance what is my next thing step what am i how can I, uh, what is in the highest good for me to release right now and what steps are I, I, am I ready to take in the uh, outer and in the, on the inner planes as well. So that's why many people turn sick because we are too busy and uh, do not want to just take the time to rest and move inwards. So at this time just settle yourself and breathe allow your breath to anchor you into your physical body allow your breath to fill your physical body with more of your spirit of your True self. And now, dear ones, these initiations are they are done for you. So what you need to really do is really to just soften yourself, to relax, to be come to enter a state of non-doing and just be open and ready to receive let go of your mind there's nothing for you to achieve to understand to grasp to go out and get right now it is here and it is done to you through you for the highest best for you okay And I now connect with you, your higher self, and just open up and receive this transmission. Luraya zalia kuri nar ayapi kiar ayodur. And we now call in the support from your guides. Source, high self, your ascension team to surround you, your ascension team are overlooking every step, guiding you on your way. All totem animals, family of light and star family of Christ consciousness with the highest intentions to surround you now and assist you. We open up our hearts in gratitude and in joy with, for this connection. And we now ask your body, all your bodies and all your minds, your physical body, every cell of your body to align with sores, come together as one and to help and assist you in releasing and activate 
your highest potential through this session for the highest good of all. Thank you. Give some gratitude to yourself, your body, your higher self, all aspects of you. As we now ask for a pink liquid light to surround you. An energy of unconditional love. Very gentle, very soft. Just feel how every cell of your body is opening up as a thirsty plant to just soak up this energy. And as it enters, enters in, it very softly cleanses what is ready to be cleared out of your energy field and your bodies and minds at this time. Penetrating deeper and deeper into your physical body, your emotions, your mind. Holding you, surrounding you, you're safe. Choose to be present here, right now. Nulu salayati aukiar, sashaliaranai dukiar. O saoya kior nalia kair. You're held, nurtured, as a mother holds her child. As we now bring our attention to our major chakras, and just bring your attention to your root and just see for your inner eye how it lights up with a red light expanding, becoming brighter, clearing and cleansing and aligning. And now see your sacred chakra, your second chakra, how it lights up and expands orange in color. And turn your in, uh, <clears throat> attention to your solar plexus, expanding, glowing in a golden yellow light. Your heart chakra with emerald, emerald green light glowing, expanding. And allow your throat chakra to expand and glow with a clear blue light, clearing, cleansing, activating. As you move your attention to your third eye and see how it's open up expanding rotating with a violet the purple light and your crown lighting up with a diamond white light cleared cleansed expanded Bring your attention to the Earth Star Chakra just below you. Allow it to expand and rotate and activate and glow. Your Soul Star Chakra 
seated and bowing activates, expands, lighting up. Good. We now ask for the healing masters, Acturian healing masters, to surround us and enter our space with your permission. We just feel their energy as they come up behind you. Very gentle, touching your heart from behind, between your shoulder blades. With their healing light, activating your heart, clearing and cleansing. And I just allow your attention to drop into your heart, <clears throat> to activate. They're preparing and they are clearing, making room. Kiana ignites your heart with unconditional love. Uto Shuliar Ayasana Kidru Nuluru Kuayana. You just need to relax and allow. Breathe Kuasana as your breath. Allow these energies to integrate and for you to release what you are ready to release. Aliyara Gyatranat Ulurukuyan Usulurukut Nur Muliar Aniahukiar Nidrayana Sukukaran Ukiar Anialyatra Nakutru is to open up to their energies. Unconditional love. Also, your natural state of being is love. As we journey through our ascension process, we just re release all the illusions we hold, all the barriers and blocks we hold against love and our ability to feel and express love. And this is what they are helping you with right now as you are turning, returning to your true self. Allow this love in. Expand your heart. You are held and you are loved. And just remember, allow yourself to remember the light and the love that you are, that you hold. Allow your heart to love. No rule, Yaraya, Kiawa, Kia, Sasha, Ayudro, no Kuya, Shala, deeper and deeper. Allow this cold to do its, its magic, work its magic. As you release, no Luruku. Naya, Sasha, Waran, and Ariki, Udro,
And as you rest in this place of love, the love that enters you from behind and all around you and amplifies your light, your love and your ability to be love, returning to that state. Just now allow all aspects of you hidden in the shadows to come forth entering into the space of love in your heart your inner child the wounded parts of you the old storylines the old events that has taken place in your life known or unknown to you all anxiety all worries all confusion or fears all anger resist, re resentment shame blame guilt just allow these energies who now feel safe this part and aspects of you to be seen to be surrounded in love just open up even deeper and just look at them accept them all of them as you now are safe to feel, to see. And if you are ready to release. And we ask for this assistance in releasing whatever is ready to be released. Whether it is known to you. It doesn't have to be. Just get, give permission for it to be released. No solo rakianana. Nar ayako. Many of these aspects are going to dissolve just by you giving it love and attention. Nulu ruku sananara kiatra. Nulu raya. Na usashayaki. Naya lo. I just feel this relaxation. As the tensions are leaving you, they do not serve any purpose anymore and you can just give gratitude to those aspects of you those past events those people everything has served as your teachers and just embrace allow your love to call out to the shadows to come into your heart to be transmuted in love and the great hill masters eternal hill masters are helping you with this as are your ascension team your guides your family, the angels and ascended masters, so far and aliyat, ranaya kiarana. I just feel the support you have right now, nuli uruku, asar ranaya ku, aliyara uno kuliatraya, kuyana. Feel how you become empty, and as you are, there is more place and space for love and light to enter in nuli uruku yana. Dash ayatra. Oh, he no raisiliatra nayaki, o saishanana. No, I alayakush, Mother Mary, Goddess Kwan Yin, no rutayaki, so fly. Breathe and release. And now turn your focus to the burdens you hold of everything you expect from yourself 
from your life to be, what you need to be, should be, what your future should be. And just allow this burden to be taken away from you. Free yourself from all expectations. As you embrace them in love and allow them to leave. And release all attachments to the future. We bless them and let them go. So no gush, aliak. And you are empty. You are liberated. You are free. You are here. Now. Feel the power of this now moment. Freed from the past. Freed from the future. The power is here. Now. And now just allow, imagine, sense, feel, see. A diamond white bright star entering your crown, heading towards your crown from above, descending slowly with a radiate white light. And just feel into its energy as it's ascend towards your head. And just allow your energy field to adjust to its power, its brightness, its light. As you are opening up, as we are assisted by Archangel Metatron, Tor and allow your crown to expand. And when you are ready, just allow very slowly and gently this diamond star to enter into your crown, into your head, as it passes by the third, your third eye, your throat, your higher heart, into your Heart. I just breathe and allow this to take place. Kuliashuash kisaliar no trayalarai kiawayaki ahurusosh tir liarokian. Just be open and receptive. You do not need to understand. You just need to open up and allow. This light, these stars, holds the Christ consciousness, holds the potent, potent light codes of your multidimensional being, ready to activate your bodies and minds, your auric field, your energy body. To activate in every cell in your RNA and DNA your full potential of who you are and who you are, what you are here to do and who you are here to be and how you best can be of service for Mother Earth and humanity at this time. Nora Lioko Sanana Maya Tragiaroko Oshuniadra, and this is all given to you <clears throat> aligned with your ascension path at this time. This is your next step, this is what you are ready for, and just allow. 
Nutruki ja shaliara na blessed by Archangel Metatron. Nutraya so shunur kuchali atrakush ice and nur push ariara kian. And just allow this diamond white light to merge with your heart the energies of unconditional love in your heart. Unuruku so so shana nara wakili hura riatra nayakia. Opening up. Your meridians, every aspect of your physical body. Enjoy as you remember awakening the memories in yourself of who you are, magic and divine power. So this is the message, it's magic and it is divine power. And now let go of what that means, what that means, magic, what it means, divine power. As you surrender all distorted illusions you hold to what power is and what it means, all the fears you have of embracing your divine power, of being powerful, of being in your power, or by using your divine power. Fear or be without power because that is impossible. That is what we've been taught. So we are here to remember. We are source. We are source. And we are here to use our source power, love and light, to create. And the Ecturians, they say, you are now entering in what it means to live on earth. It is joyful, dear ones. It is magic. And you use this magic with your divine power as you create of love and light. And so many of you, so many times, has wished to leave this earth plane. But now the party starts, dear ones. Kulia rana kita rana nyu are here it's just been a long preparation for you along for us not so long now you are here to celebrate now you are here to live heaven on earth and you are creating this with your divine power as you know yourself sanaka and shine this light which is your birth right and you are so supported by the whole universe at this time from the heart of mother earth just connect down and allow your pillar of light to ascend down into your heart as you are grounding your star essence your source light into the heart of mother earth and go down in your physical form your power is light your power is love soft as a feather steady as a rock to create miracles for you and for everybody for the highest good of all and just open up to this and feel this dear ones and just now allow it to expand through your body through, you, through your energy field as you allow the front of your heart to open up and allow all this light, this unconditional love that you are to flood out. As it keeps entering you from behind, moving through you, touching everybody and everything. Clearing and cleansing, and as you are restored, 
Uluruunudutashana to your original divine blueprint. This will help humanity to remember and return home. Nulukashana rasishanata. This is your power, the ones, your power to love, to be the light. Ukana, to hold the light, to remember the light, the love, and to shine it, and to put it into every of your creation. As your higher mind is now connected to your creative center, your sacrum, and your power center, your solar plexus, allowing, aligning your mind, to source, nur sutayaya, anchored into Mother Earth, grounding you, grounding you, to shania, drana ki, turunu ki, atsanaki. You are the portal beyonds. You are the portal. Allow this portal to open in you. You are the universe. You are everything. Allow it to open. Allow yourself to open up to this energies to receive them allow them to flow through you igniting and empower everything everyone No breathe and allow a kialar unaitai. O kainar sa expand or tuliatrana kunais. O tuayana yarana kita shuesa shiash. Ulialaya ti ayaukyu aranaya liatra. I san yoko ko shaya la rayao uti anayali adraya lino tu kai allow this codes in nukuliar tiki titi tash ko samar naya and there are non numbers of one and two, twelve and twenty one and three in tata namar tiki liara kekiayatu. Ulukur sana and symbols, they are symbols seven, Tushunur, Raitia, and just allow them to activate you. Nutotushani, a part satatash, Ukukukush, as the Ectarian also give you the codes of geometrical symbols, just receive Nutoshamaliatra, Nakiatana to activate you further. Mulu arana ki sarsana ki trakuli atada. And there ones you do not need to understand. It's not for you to grasp. O varamane yatro koshunulur. Nidra ya kokoko. You are the portal. You are open to source light. And just allow it to enter in. Empower you and do its magic. Mama rana to shaliatra kaka shuli anatash aliokana. And just dear ones, keep this portal open by loving every aspect of you. Everyone that crossed your path, every occasion, every event that manifests in front of you, in you and around you. Nulura sita tana keep your heart open and love dear ones to shunoto tamaralia kush aliatra. Hulurro no sinia and expand it love no rapatasha no to kush aliatra na shur sana. Kusunu ya kakashalia the dragon breath. Hu shuliur e ne atana na 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 kusha clearing and cleansing. Utra na kushalia trana tatush atipar na kuata na kaishia.
itu bahagia Ganaya Lido Sai Allow this to energies to ground, integrate, use your breath to ground yourself and this light comes in and then they will continue. You are the portal of these ones. They're here to support you. You're ready for your next step. You are ready to become who you are. Rest there once. Drink lots of water, lots, and allow water to cleanse your physical body from inside and also from the outside. It will transmute all density, neutralize. As we bring gratitude to our hearts for all that we have received, all that we have released, all that we are, for the assistance and the beings who are here to assist us, for the Daimyo White Light, Toshunoko Yatrana, Giyashana, for the unconditional love, the beings of love who are always here to support us. And I thank you as always. And I send you so many blessings. Thank you.